All right, you guys, so welcome. We're going to go ahead and get started. So I want to welcome everybody tonight to the Wednesday 101. Um, to give you an idea of kind of how you ended up here, for those of you guys that are brand new, we are, this team right here, you're a part of, is called In The Pink, which is my team. I came up with that name when I first started because I thought it was a fun name. Um, it has kind of a neat meaning. It means when somebody's in the pink, it means they're full of good health and also prosperity. If you, if you Google it, it has a pretty cool definition. So you're in the pink. Um, so you are likely also on another team. So maybe your sponsor or your team leader has another team page that you may be a part of also. Now the in the pink team has um, almost, we're working on right around 700 people on the team. Um, that's our kind of big, large team. Um, I get to introduce myself now as Dawn Andrews Emerald Ambassador. Very cool. Um, I was able to promote to Emerald on New Year's Eve. So this is a new promotion for me, which is a very big deal to get to the Emerald level. I've been in Plexus for two years, and um, it's been wonderful and fun and hard work and super rewarding and worth every single minute because um, this promotion was sort of like the biggie. So yeah, today we had a really good time. A bunch of us got to go to the Lexus dealership. So I got to pick out my free Lexus and drive my Lexus off the lot. So that was really fun today. There's probably, you'll see lots of pictures posted about that on our team page and on Facebook. Um, so that's your team. We are, I'm out of Virginia. And so most of, our, most of our team is on the East Coast. But of course, we have people all over the country because of technology and social media and how we're all connected. Um, but a lot of our team members are in Virginia, North Carolina. We go all the way down to Florida. I think we go all the way up to New Jersey. So we've got a good, um, a good you know, blanketing of the East Coast with our team. It's kind of exciting. Our, you know, with, I, I'll just kind of give you guys an idea of like who we are. Our team in Virginia is the second jewel team. In Plexus, you're considered a jewel when you reach the emerald level. The next level is sapphire, and then the next level is diamond. And so our team is an emerald team, so we're a jewel team. The first one in our area, Hampton Roads, Norfolk, Virginia Beach, and also the second in Virginia. So it's kind of cool. Um, and then my sponsor is Celeste Quinn, who just happens to be the top earner and the most successful ambassador in the entire company. She's been doing it for um, around three years so hasn't been in very long at all and she's reached the rank of double diamond so if you're here on this team I just want to encourage you that you're in a great spot we have a strong team we have excellent training we have excellent resources and um, we're all really here we believe wholeheartedly in one plexus so we're here to support you no matter where you are on what we call, I don't even like to use the word downline because it's really all about team, but no kind of, no matter where you are, so even if you're maybe my level six, so to speak, um, that's, you know what, if you want this business and you want to create financial freedom for your family and really go for it, then I am, you just personal message me because we're going to lock arms and do this thing together. So we really are um, one big team and my heart's desire is for everybody on this team to go all the way because the, the financial reward is amazing. The community that it comes with it is, is just awesome. And of course, the Plexus products, if you have been using them for a while, know how you understand what these products do and you understand how life-changing the health is. So I'm really excited to, to welcome you all. Um, let's see, just to kind of go over some, I want to give you some more stats about the team and then I'm going to give you guys some kind of tips on how to really get hit the ground running and to really rock your business. Um, our team does team calls every Tuesday night and I do them every Tuesday night at 930 at night. The reason I do them so late is because I have five kids and they're little and they, I like to put them all to bed and that takes a long time. So I generally get the last one down about nine o'clock. And so that gives me just a little, just enough time to pull a team call together by 930. One of the things I love, love, love about this business is you can be a busy mom like me and you can absolutely fit this into the nooks and crannies of your life and make it work for you. And so when you're leading a team call someday, you might be able to do your team calls at seven o'clock because that works for you, but 930 works for me. So that's what we do. Um, it's also good for people that are on the West Coast and Central Times because of the time zone difference. But you can always have it on your calendar, and we do them just like this with Zoom, so you can um, look for that link. So just make sure you plug into those team calls. A couple things that are coming up on our team is we have an opportunity event coming up in Virginia Beach, if you're local, on January the 12th. And that is for guests, so you can invite your guests to come to a meeting. Now listen, when we do opportunity events, we do not want people, we say do not bring your wallet, 
We do not want you to buy anything. The only reason we want you to come is just to learn how wonderful the products are and learn about the business opportunity if that's something you're interested in pursuing. So when I always, you know, when you when you're talking to somebody, you just say, "Hey, come with me. It's going to be about an hour, hour and a half, and you're going to learn." And that that's all. So we do those. Um, we try to do those about once a month. If you're out of town. Um, and you're not, you know, we can, I can probably find you another team where you are to connect with. So if you don't have, if you don't know of a team right now, just let me know where you are and I can easily find another a, a team that you can connect with and go to their opportunity meetings. And again, the, our company culture across the country is really one plexus. So we all want everyone to be successful. It doesn't matter whose team you're on. Okay. We'll plug you in. All right. Um, let's see. So that's sort of the nuts and bolts. Oh, yeah. And then also locally here, we're doing a big training for ambassadors on January the 30th. So you can put that on your calendar. It's going to be in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, it's at a hotel. We have a lot of people are coming from out of town. And so we're going to have a kind of party reception that Friday night. So if you're within driving distance and you can make that happen, do that. We would love to connect with you. And it's going to be a great training that Saturday. It's going to be about a four hour deal. So while I'll go over some nuts and bolts tonight of how to get started, this is just blank. So really that training will really be more in depth and really be something that will help you build your business. Um, okay. So that's that. Okay. So let's see. So you're new. Um, we had a lot of people come on board in the months of November and December. So I know we have a lot of new people. And when you're new, you're excited and you're hopeful. And if you're on this call, that means you want to learn and you want to build your business. And I love that. And so like I said, we, we're going to lock arms with you and do everything we can to give you the resources that you need to be successful. But you're sitting here like maybe feeling a little bit like, well, where, what do I do first? So that's what we're going to talk about. All right, the first thing that you're going to do is you're really going to think about belief. I want you to think about belief in four quadrants because believing in the products and believing in the all, all, all encompassing is going to be probably the most important thing that you have to keep you going. Okay. And so building your belief in the products, if you you building your belief in the products, building your belief in the company itself, Plexus, building belief in yourself is very important, and also believing in network marketing in general and the business model. Those four things are very important to kind of really keep you persevering and doing this and committing to it. So how do you build belief in all of those areas? Um, you build belief in all of those areas by getting plugged in and doing things like you're doing right now, this call. Okay, this is building, you're building maybe belief right now, just being on the call in the, in the company and who we are and, and getting, you're building belief in the products because we're going to talk about that. Um, and then also, of course, so, so getting plugged into calls, it's very important that you get plugged into our Facebook pages. We really utilize Facebook. I kind of think of it as like the water cooler, you know, of the office. We don't go to an office and see each other every day, but we do meet up on Facebook and we have lots of community there. So use, utilize those team pages to connect, get involved in those team pages, ask questions because there's a lot of seasoned ambassadors and leaders that really can and do a great job and can answer your questions like that. Um, if you have a testimony that you need, you know, you have a friend who has diabetes and you don't know where to get the information to help them, go to those team pages because you, those are really going to be great. Um, you build your belief also by watching videos. I think there's wonderful YouTube videos out there. You could probably search YouTube and put Plexus and just about any health condition, just about anything you can think of. And there's a video about it, you guys. So watch those videos. Another thing I love are the, um, the Plexus Diamond documentaries, and you can search those also. And when, when someone in our company reaches the top level of Diamond, they do a wonderful documentary about their life. And so you can watch um, other men and women, mostly women, but there are certainly men also who are very successful with this, and sort of how they, how they got to be at that Diamond level. And when someone gets to the Diamond level in our company, you're talking about about a half a million dollars a year and, and, and even more than that. I mean, that's sort of like the minimum of what diamonds actually earn in our company. And the people that are diamonds are just like you and me. And I think that was one of the things that really motivated me from the beginning. I, I looked at other people, other women that were just like me, that were really, really successful. And I thought, oh, golly, if, if they can do it, then I can do it too. And so that that's really important for your belief to keep you going. So I want to encourage you to do all of those things to build your belief. 
Um, the next thing that you want to do is really think about your why. Why do you want to do Plexus? Why are you here? And you're going to hear that a lot. Why? And I want you to think about it. I want you to think through it. And then I want you to write it down. And I want you to share it with your sponsor. Okay? So whoever your sponsor is, that should almost be like a homework assignment. Establish your why. Write it down. And then actually verbalize it. Because why you're doing it is going to be what... Um, you kind of come back to when when the going gets tough, um, and I and I'm not going to go into my testimony, but something that did happen to me in the middle of my plexus business building was I got cancer. I had breast cancer, and I went through um, chemo and radiation and surgery, and so it was a major life illness, and it was very hard. Um, and and I had built my plexus business to a point that I will, didn't want to give it up. Um, I was sort of I was at the senior gold level when all of that kind of went down, and so I know for me. Having my why and having a strong why and verbalizing it and going back to it is really what kept me in the game. Because if my if I hadn't had a strong why and belief in it, it would have been easy to kind of just say, I can't do this and just really give up. So establishing your why is very important. All right. Also, when you're getting started, you want to be a you want to go ahead and set some goals. That's going to be very important. You're going to learn as you walk through this plexus that we're constantly setting goals. And we're writing them down and we're measuring them. And so from the very beginning, when you first get started, right, think about what your goal is. If you are getting started and you just want to pay, let's just say, well, I just want to be able to pay for my products. Okay, I want to have enough business that I get my products for free. All right, so you're looking at about $150 a month in commissions. Okay, that's great. If that's your goal, write it down. Know what that goal is. If your goal is say, no, you know what, I really want to make $500 a month then have that as your goal, write that down, and then you're gonna work with your sponsor to kind of work backwards. If that's your goal at 500, then your sponsor is gonna help you figure out what you need to do to make the 500. Um, and I can tell you, my initial goal when I started was 500. Um, and then as the my vision got broader and I started to really understand the income opportunity and what this business could be, that quickly became something much grander um, and so yours likely will too and that's great it's your why and your goals are constantly going to be evolving but from the very beginning go ahead and and and, and set those goals and set that kind of monetary where you want to be um, some kind of goals that you can also have in the beginning that we always encourage everybody have is you if you're getting started you want to try to get to $500, you can go ahead and write this down, get to $500 in volume or sales, okay? Because when you get to the $500 in volume or say in your own personal sales, that's when you earn 25% commission. So as you're getting started, you start sharing with your friends and family, you start giving them your, um, your information, think, I really want to get to that $500 mark in sales. Um, initially, also, set a goal to get three ambassadors on your team. So you want to, we, we talk a lot about the power of three. When you can get three people on board who also want to be business builders, and then those three people get their three people, and the three get to three, there's a wonderful chart that shows how quickly you can build a very successful business and downline. Um, when you get to your first three people, you get your first three qualified ambassadors. That means they bought a welcome pack in one month and or they've done a, they do $100 in sales. Excuse me, you promote to the rank of silver. So that's your first official rank. Um, and you get a $100 bonus. So that those two things, just think those are right off the bat, those should be some really good goals. Um, let's see. Um, as you're, and I want to kind of just quickly go through as I'm talking about kind of money, some things that you can remember is we get paid 11 ways. 11 ways takes, if I went through every single way, that would take up 30 minutes of time. So I'm not going to go through every single way, but like I said, you do get the 25% commission on your sales. You get building bonuses when you, um, when you add team members. And if there's one thing I want you to remember and study is pay points. We get paid these wonderful things called pay points, which is a profit sharing model. It took me a couple of months to wrap my head around it, so I don't expect you all to kind of get it right off the bat. But I do want you to remember profit sharing pay points and spend some time figuring it out because when you understand how that profit sharing pay point works, it's going to revolutionize the way that you think. It's going to change your business strategy, and you're going to understand how to create residual income. Um, we've got some great... YouTube videos about our compensation plan that are done by corporate. 
a series of three videos, comp one, two, and three. And so you can search those and watch those and they'll help explain um, our pay points. Um, we get paid on the 15th of every month, okay? So for the month of December, we get paid on January the 15th. And so if you're just getting started, everything that you do in January, you're gonna get paid February the 15th. Always count on that. Um, we also, that's kind of our big paycheck from like 10 ways that we get paid that goes into that 15 check. But then on um, every single Friday, we get paid what we call building bonuses. So when you add team members, there's, there's customers and then there's team members. When you add somebody as an ambassador, you get a one-time building bonus. Um, and those building bonuses range from, we get paid out four levels, so they range anywhere from $50 down to $6, depending on where they are, you know, what level they are, you get paid those every Friday. So as you really start to team build and your team begins to grow, those Friday paychecks become really, really nice. Um, so just remember that. Let's see. I also recommend, we our back office now has a pay portal. So as your commissions are likely gonna go into what we call this pay portal, so when you get paid, you can set up your bank account and easily move your money and transfer your money into your, your checking account. So you wanna get that set up. Again, that's the kind of stuff you wanna get with your sponsor about if you have questions so they can, that person can really walk you through it. All right. So now let's talk about, those are kind of nuts and balls. So you're, you're here, you've got your products, you're excited, you're like, okay, how do I, what do I do? How do I tell people about what we're doing? We use social media probably more than any other avenue for letting people know about Lexus, which I love because that means we're not throwing parties, we're not doing you know crazy, we don't do a lot of events, we, that's just not really our model. We are sharers, we're not salespeople, we, are, we have health products to change lives and so it's our responsibility to share our story and other people's stories with the masses. And the masses are on social media. So it makes this business to me so much easier because you're basically just kind of throwing a net out there in the Facebook world and sharing your story and then people come to you because they're like, oh my goodness, you have so much more energy. I'm a, I'm a tired mom. Tell me about how you get more energy. Or, you know, I have a soda addiction, or I, I have a hard time keeping my soda habit. So you're telling me that you have something that helps with soda addiction. Um, you know, I have migraines. So that's the kind of stuff you're going to do. So you're going to really utilize social media. Um, we recommend, first of all, if you haven't already done it, design what we call a kind of a launch post, all right? You want to put together a post, um, sort of your initial of, it incorporates your why, like why you're doing Plexus, why you're excited about it. Um, if, if Maybe if you already have a little testimony about it, you know, you can incorporate that. Or if you don't use some of ours testimonies, I have a friend who beat breast cancer and, you know, it Plexus helped her. It was amazing. You can use our stories, um, your sponsor. So put together that sort of launch post to kind of let your Facebook audience or Instagram also audience know what you're doing um, and spend some time on that. Maybe get your sponsor to kind of read over it. You don't want to make it too long, but you do want um, someone's not muted. There's feedback. Okay, let me see if I can I can do something. Uh, the people on the phone. All right, let's see. The people it's the people on the phone that are that I can't mute. So if you're on the phone, you guys, and you can, if you could on your phone mute yourself, so it's there's no feedback. That would be really great. Usually the phones are the ones that have the feedback. Um, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Make sure. Okay, make sure everybody's muted. Um, okay, so you're gonna do that really great that that launch Facebook post to let your Facebook audience know what you're doing. And keep it always very, very personal. Okay, we never want to appear to be salesy or adsy on Facebook. So everything that you put on Facebook, you're gonna make it put a personal twist on it, put a personal spin on it, because that's what's going to engage your audience and, and not make them kind of tune you out. You don't want to ever do that. Um, and also, as you're doing is you're telling about Plexus. You also want to, of course, incorporate things in your life because you are already posting on Facebook and you're already telling about your kids and your dog and your football team. And so Plexus is just another thing that you're excited about and that you love and that you want to tell people about, okay? Um, share your why on your Facebook. And I, I always recommend doing a video because people will watch a video. You don't want your video to be more than five minutes long because people lose interest. 
But if you don't, it, you know, and, it, and if it feels a little bit scary, that's okay. Because honestly, the more vulnerable you are, the more you're kind of like nervous about it. People respond to that. They want to hear from you. Um, and you know, it's funny because what happens is, is people that haven't seen you since high school, you're putting a video up there. They're going to check you out because they're like, I wonder what, you know, I wonder what she's doing now. Let me see how, you know, Susie Mae looks at 40. So you get a lot of interest and people will watch your video. So do a why video while you're excited. Um, Another thing I want you to remember as you're utilizing social media to build your business is facts tell. Yes, you're going to educate, but stories sell. People want to know what Plexus can do for them, and the way that they it starts to register is they see what Plexus is doing for others. So remember to share lots of testimonies, of course, your personal testimony, but share other people's. And we have a ton of them, you guys. We've got them on our own personal team page. Um, you can pretty much go into the search menu in Facebook and put Plexus anything and there's probably a page for it like Plexus autoimmune disease, Plexus and breastfeeding, Plexus and you know ADHD. So there's lots of information out there and again if you're having a hard time getting to the information your sponsor can help you find the right information. Um, let's see. When you're first getting started, it's super important to be very consistent when you're using social media. So you can't, you know, post about Plexus for a week and then take two weeks off and not say anything because your audience will forget and then they'll be confused and they'll think that you gave up and you're not really serious. So if you're going to really do this business and you're going to utilize Facebook to build your business, you want to be consistent. So I recommend between two and three posts a day where you mention Plexus or you're educating people on Plexus, and then also two to three incorporating your personal stuff, okay? Which is a lot of Facebooking. I get it. I know. But just go ahead and go for it. I think one of the scariest things I ever did was put out the first post about Plexus, okay? So I just want you to know that we've all been there because we're like, uh, you know, because you feel like you're putting something out there and you don't know who's going to be reading it. I understand, but I can promise you it's worth it because I did that two years ago and today I just picked up a free Lexus and I'm, I'm going to be making five um, figures this month and I'm going to be going to Hawaii. So was it worth it to, to get over my fear and my kind of weirdness about putting stuff out there on Facebook? Yeah, it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. Okay, you guys, I just want to encourage you in that. And, um, and I know me personally and most people that are successful absolutely built their business using social media. I've never actually done a party ever or anything. Okay. Um, okay. So once you kind of throw the net out there with your, with Facebook, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to find that people are going to come to you. They're going to personal message you. They're going to comment on your stuff. Okay. So that's where, that's where the real work starts because, um, I know six figures. I said it's, it's six figures a year, but I'm making five figures a month. Right. Is that right? Like, $10,000 a month or something crazy. I don't even know you guys. I kind of can't wrap my mind around it But yeah, it's six figures a year. It, it just happened. So I'm, I'm still trying to like kind of wrap my head around it um, So you want to let's see you want to make sure that you're following up. That's gonna be very important Okay, throwing your net out there is great You're gonna get lots of interest, but you want to become someone that really follows up with people, okay? You have to be good at that. And there's, we have some great systems for follow-up. I wanna share a couple of things that I think are great. Um, I use this Plexus organizer. Actually, Missy Sackin's the one that turned me on to it. It's really a great tool. I just posted about it, I think, today on our team page. But it's a great way to organize your, so you don't forget, you know, when someone, it's got a, a section for prospects and customers and ambassadors. And so you can write the information in here and keep really good track of it. One thing I want you to remember, I know that um, this is a lot of info, but one thing that you're going to remember as you're thinking about follow-up is, People want to know what it's going to do for them. They want to know what Plexus is going to do for them more than they're even interested in all the product ingredients and the science and the details and all that stuff. That kind of overwhelms most people. So as you're following up, your job really is to find out what their health goals are, what their health concerns might be, um, and then meet their needs. And so follow-up, honestly, is going to look different for every single person that you're working with. It's not really a blanket system. I mean, there's certainly some sort of like, you know, documents that we all sort of use, but 
you really want to tailor it to the person because when you do that, the person's like, oh, you know, Karen really is listening to me and she really cares about me and she really wants to help me. So I trust her and I'm going to now, you know, purchase the Plexus products or even join her team. Okay, guys, so just when you're, when you're thinking about your follow-up, because I get that question a lot. People are like, well, I don't know what to send, and I don't know what to do. Just remember that they're coming to you to help for help, and that you put yourself in a position of meeting their needs and creating value. And when you're able to really create value for what we offer, price isn't an issue, okay? That, that, that it's, if someone tells you it's too expensive, that means that you you have to go back and create more value for them because people will buy what they want to buy. Um, that's why people that are living paycheck to paycheck go out and buy two hundred dollar tennis shoes because Nike's done a really great job of creating value, so people think they want it and they have to have it, and they're going to buy it no matter even if they can't afford it. Okay, and that's true with um, and and thank goodness we have something that actually can help somebody. Right, tennis shoes don't do a darn thing. Um, so your follow up is going to be super important. Some ways, now, how are you going to get the information? One of the things I not just highly recommend, I would almost require, of course I can't require it, but is you join the Plexus Power Tools website, okay? It's www.plexuspowertools.com, all right? It's run by an independent ambassador, but he, his, he does a fabulous job with this site. It costs $10 for the year, and it gives you access to everything you could possibly want and more. Okay, every, and it, what's really great about this site too is everything's always updated. So if we get a new product ingredient, it's updated right away. So everything is really, really up to date. And it has everything from welcome letters for customers. It has the science behind every single product. It has all of the ingredients. It breaks down what the ingredients do. So you're never, you will have all the information that you need if you join that website. Okay. Um, we also have files in our, in our on our team page. So if you click the, you'll see it on the in the pink team page files, and there's things in there that people on our team have thought are super helpful, and you can just download those files. Okay. Um, let's see. Some things that you also can do, some kind of like little tips for good follow up, um, is offering samples. I mean, a lot of times people. They just want to try the pink drink. They think it's going to taste gross. You know, people are like, it's a drink. What's it taste like? I don't know if I want to, you know, spend all that money and spend 30 days and have 30 days of something that I don't think tastes very good. Um, so having a sample handy is very, very helpful. Um, and so you want to, you can use samples. You can buy samples in the back office, but you can also use your own. I know when I was first getting started, I wasn't willing to make that investment of spending, you know, $10 or $15 or whatever on a three-day sample. So I just would take a little sim simple, simple, like Plexus, you know, a little stick, and I went to the dollar store and got some, some pink ribbon, and I punched, put a, put my, I had a business card. That's super important. Go ahead and order business cards. That's not expensive to do. You can get a thousand business cards for like thirty dollars. You don't really need a thousand. Just get five hundred. Um, put a little hole punch, tie the slim to my business card, and bam, done. Here's a sample. You can send that in the mail. You can, you know, hand deliver it. Certainly, when you're getting started, you probably got dance moms and you know soccer moms, and that way you can have them in your purse. So I say definitely have um, samples available. All right, so when you're following up also, remember to always make it easy for people to order from you. Don't make it tricky. Always include your website. Everybody has the same website. It's like shopmyplexus.com backslash and whatever you named it. It was probably your name, but it could have been something else because when you joined as an ambassador, you picked the name. They always make it super easy and always give people specific instructions. So as you're working with someone, you want to say, Something like, you know, here, go to my website, click um, shop, click preferred, here's the products. I found in my experience, the more I give step-by-step -step instructions and make it easy, the more successful I am with the order, okay? Um, there are, let me get, in, get into this. There's three ways to buy. So you've got someone that wants Plexus. You, you're going to let them know. They can buy retail, they can buy preferred, or they can sign up as an ambassador. Okay, here you go. You don't want a retail customer, so just go ahead and get in your head that you're going to talk about a retail. Retail is a one-time order. 
It is the most expensive way that someone can purchase Plexus, and it's um, and there's no reason to only do 30 days because we have a 60 day money back guarantee for our customers. So you want from the very beginning your customers, your people, to go into it with the mindset that they're committed for at least 60 days. I mean, I like to set people up longer than that because even 60 days sometimes, you know. It takes a while to really get into the plexus groove and really benefiting from the help, the help, you know, the help, the great help. Um, but if someone wants to be, a, if you want them to, as a customer, you always want to gear the, steer them towards preferred. They're good. That will put them on an auto ship. That auto ship will auto ship from the day that they purchase. So today is what the sixth someone order today, then it would auto ship on February the sixth. So that's how it's always in a 30 day cycle. Um, you can cancel it or they can cancel an auto ship anytime. There's no obligation. People do not, we, Plexus is designed. We want people to be successful. And so nobody's trying to trick anybody into anything. So it's really easy to cancel. So make sure you would ensure, you know, let people know that they're not, but they do, they should save money and order preferred. And as ambassadors, we get bonuses every time a preferred shipment auto ships, we get a bump, we get a bonus. And that's all in the, the compensation plan. There's a chart, um, I think it's in our back office, you can look at and you can see the different bonuses for each product because they vary. Um, okay, so the last way that you can get involved is to sign up as an ambassador, which is what all of you have done. And so you understand that process where you can buy, a, you buy a welcome pack. There's two levels, there's $133.95 and $233.95. So there's two basic price points. Obviously, one thirty three ninety five is basically personal products. The more expensive one is personal products plus a little extra, maybe some business building, maybe some extra products. You can tell people that the products are actually less than wholesale when they sign up as an ambassador. So they're really getting a great savings when they do that. Um, from then on out, as an ambassador, you get wholesale pricing and you also have a personal website to share. So it's really, really, um, you know, really great. The only thing, the, the, uh, we have something called auto qualification, which is basically the same thing as the preferred auto ship. It's just an auto ship that says, yes, I'm going to do $100 in sales a month in order to earn commissions. Okay, so that's really key because sometimes people get kind of freaked out about the auto. Like, what do you mean? It means that if you want to earn commission, you have to commit to doing $100 in sales. It can be something, the, your personal that you buy or it can in it or it can be sales okay if someone decides that they're just not into it and they don't want to auto ship and they don't want that auto qualification on fine no problem you just turn it off in the back office and then that month they just don't earn any commissions so again it's plexus has designed everything in our everything that we do for people to be successful and they want people that want it to be successful and if you don't want it we want you to still have a great experience okay so nobody's trying to so that's just important to uh, to explain to people when they're signing up as an ambassador um, people can sign up as an ambassador certainly to work the business to build the business it's a cool it's the most amazing income opportunity ever but they can also sign up as a wholesale buyer and that's fine too especially if people have maybe more than one person in their house buying the product. Maybe it's their husband, they're buying for their child. Um, they're using a lot of products, maybe a little bit more than just the triplex. It's definitely cost effective to sign up as an ambassador. And that's great. You can have those people in your, on your team. I actually like it because what happens, I think, too, is when people sign up as an ambassador, a lot of times they get more educated because they get on the team page and they get more... Uh, the, the vision for what the Plexus products can do for them and others becomes much grander. And so what I have found in my experience is a lot of times people sign on as a wholesale buyer and then end up being a business builder. It might take them a, a few months. So if you have somebody that's really interested in the products and you think, you know, if this person really um, got into it, they could do a great job with the business. Um, so you might want to kind of, you know, push them into, not push, but encourage them to become an ambassador with the with maybe the goal that maybe one day they would be a great business builder for you. Um, product knowledge, I know probably as you're getting started, that might feel like, well, you're talking about all this stuff and products and customers, like, what do I tell people? How do I help these people that have all of these, you know, that have different health concerns? 
fortunately, we only have 16 products in our product line. And that is one of my favorite things about Plexus because a whole fake catalog would overwhelm me. <clears throat> so 16 products, it does not take very long at all to become very familiar and really understand our products. So what I suggest doing when you first get started is kind of maybe pick a product a week or maybe a product, depends on how, how fast, quick you want to get into this and study. Maybe, maybe it's a week if you feel like you don't have a lot of extra time, but you say, okay, I'm going to learn about the slim this week. All right. Watch videos, read the ingredients, um, you know, just really dig in and become a student, become a great student and learn about the slim. And then maybe the next week you really learn about the pro bio five. So set up a plan for yourself to educate yourself on the products. Like I said, there's great videos. Um, Dr. Neil Harris, who is a, a sort of a doctor on the, the Plexus team, he has a product video about everything, all of our products, and goes into why they work, how they work, and the ingredients. You can watch those. Um, Ami Darling is a master nutritionist, and she's an ambassador. She has really great YouTube videos also where she explains the products in, in a very intelligent way. So I recommend those as well. Um, one thing that you, the way that you can kind of think about our products is three categories. We have health and wellness, health, wellness, and weight loss, and then chronic pain. Okay. So when someone comes to you and they're interested, you can think, okay, that's like, okay, identify, is it health and wellness they want? Do they want the weight loss? Or do we have more of a chronic pain issue that we can, that we can help with? Um, you can never go wrong with the triplex combo, period. Everybody in America, honestly, could use the Triplex Combo because it will help them get healthy. It targets gut health, it targets proper body balance, and leveling blood sugars, okay? The Triplex is the Slim, the BioCleanse, and the ProBio. It comes in a package, and so they save money when they buy it. So I just want you to remember that. If you're, you can never go wrong with the Triplex, I always think of Triplex like you lay the foundation. You kind of just like... You're building a house. You build a strong foundation in the body with the triplex, and then we can kind of build products on from there, okay? So that's all I'm going to say about products, but definitely utilize your time to become, a, become familiar with the products. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'm going to kind of finish up here. I know it's, I'm running into my 45 minutes. Okay, as far as an investments are concerned, you definitely want to buy your business cards, you can get those through the back office. You can get those through Etsy. You can get those through Vistaprint. You can go pretty much anywhere on the internet and find Plexus business cards. If you want to buy catalogs, the catalogs are great. You can buy those in the back office. You get a set, I think, of 25 catalogs to maybe like $14.95 um, because the, they have all the products, information, and also it, it also includes the compensation plan and the 11 ways that we earn. Mm. So if you're talking to someone about the, the opportunity, I love to pull out the catalog, flip to the back, and kind of walk through those 11 ways to earn. <clears throat> so you don't have to really do it from memory. All right. Um, I also recommend, if you can, to buy brochures. You can get those in the back office. Those are really great to attach um, a one slim stick to. Again, remember I said do the hole punch. You know, that's kind of a nice quick way. Because <clears throat> you can get a lot of brochures for um, not very much money at all. Mm. Sorry, guys. I got something in my throat. Okay. I also, um, if you can, maybe once you build your business, if you want to make a little investment, it's good to, to have three-day samples or seven-day samples. Those are really, really great for contests on Facebook. You get started. You do your why launch posts. You start telling people about Plexus. You pique their interest. And then you say, I'm going to give away a seven-day sample. If you're interested in, 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 you know, I'll throw your name into the hat, comment here, you know, I'm in. So I can tell you how excited people get about getting something free. And then you end up getting 20 comments. You get to see everybody that's been watching you post about Plexus that you never knew. People come out of the woodwork to get something for free. So I recommend just buy one seven-day sample or a few three days and do some contests. Love it. Um, be a walking billboard. Plexus t-shirts, Plexus hats, Plexus stickers on your car. Many, many times I'll be out in public. Someone will see Plexus. Oh, what's that? Or, oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Tell me more. It's, it's a great icebreaker. And then I told you guys definitely invest in the Power Tools website. Okay. 
Um, so we've talked, I'm going to touch, I'm just going to touch on this, you guys, because I don't want to overwhelm you, but this is important to remember. I think about marketing our business in two different ways, okay? You kind of, like we talked about before, you throw the net out there and people come to you, but that, and that is great, and you will, your business will work that way, but if you really want to get serious and you really want to be successful and hit the ground running and really make this thing work and, you know, be learning six figures a year in a year, you can do that. You have to be intentional though about reaching out to other people. So there's the other, it's kind of twofold with your business. You want to make a list of people, at least a hundred. I think you can probably go up to 300 because if you think about everybody you know from Facebook friends to church friends, to school friends, to college friends, and all walks of life, okay? Make a list and then you think about that list of people that you've, that you've made and you kind of identify maybe your top 20. 20 people that you think would absolutely just blow this business out of the water for maybe because of their network, maybe because they own another business, their integrity, they're in, they have great relationships with people. They're, anyway, whatever it is. So think about those top 20 people and then be intentional about reaching out to them and telling them about what you have because you're here and you're excited and you know that you have hope and freedom in the palm of your hand. And so you're going to them and saying, Hey, I've got this amazing health product and this amazing opportunity. And I would love, love, love to be doing it with you because I think you are, and then you affirm them. Okay. Um, and nobody's going to tell you to go, you know, take a hike because you told them they were great. They're going to be like, oh, that's so nice. They might say, yeah, tell me more. Let's meet for coffee. They might say, no, it's not for me. And that's okay. Let me tell you something. If Bobby's on this call, Bobby Salang is a friend of mine and she's just signed up and I've been working with her for a, almost a year telling her about Flexus. And it was kind of like, well, I'm not sure if it's for me, but she was always on my dream team list because I knew she would be wonderful at this um, for many reasons. And so I never really kind of took, took it as like an absolute no, it was always a crack door. So now Bobby, I think is on this call. She was, um, and so I'm really excited now for her to be successful with this. So reach out, reach out, reach out and be intentional about it and your business will absolutely grow. Um, <clears throat> something that you can say, you, you know, a really quick message, you just send people a personal Facebook message and say, hey, this may or may not be for you, but I think you'd be really great on my Plexus team. Let's talk. You know, can I call you? That's all you got to say. That's all you got to say. <clears throat> um, okay. So that list is important. Get with your sponsor about that too. And I, one thing that we, um, that we talk a lot about, you're going to hear people say a lot. We say five, three, one. All right. Just remember those numbers, five, three, one successful people in this business are consistently working their business every single day. The five, you guys can write this down, stands out for reaching out to five new people a day. Those aren't people that have come to you. Those are five brand new people that you've reached out to. Maybe you've done it through a phone call. Maybe you've done it through a personal message. Um, maybe you've done it through a text, but using that, hey, I think you would be great. Let me tell you more. Five. Three is three follow-ups. So three follow-ups might be a follow-up from someone that reached out to you, or maybe someone out of your five the day before said yes. So three follow-ups a day. And then the one is personal development. Remember, we're, your belief is important because it's gonna what ground it's gonna be what grounds you. So that personal development is what you do to build your belief. That includes maybe reading books on maybe network marketing, maybe personal development type books like John Maxwell or Jim Rohn. Um, that could be watching videos about the products if that's you want to really want to focus on product knowledge. So do one thing a day to build your personal growth. That's super important. So five, three, one. We want you guys to do that. Um, just a couple things that I have like to kind of close it out. I'm never able to do anything in 30 on time, you guys. I'm sorry. I have so much to say. I get so excited. I want to tell, tell you guys everything. Um, is doing three-way calls with your sponsor is going to be really beneficial for your business. So if you're, work, you're just getting started, you have someone in mind, get your sponsor on the phone with you because your sponsor is, is probably much more seasoned and can answer the questions. And sometimes when some, your friend hears it from somebody else, 
it just gives a, it just gives an extra validity. So get on a three way call. Those are super super effective in in, in people's building their business. Um, plan a launch event. Now we don't do parties, and I love that we don't do parties in Plexus, but it is a good idea when you're getting started to do something to introduce your friends and family and sort of your warm market to what you're doing. And again, your sponsor will help you or anybody in our team. And a lot of times people on our team will just come to support you. So it can be in your house. It could be at a restaurant maybe that you want to go to. It could be at your church, anywhere. <clears throat> and we have models for that. So don't be intimidated by doing that. We can help you put that together. It doesn't need to be fancy. It's just basically sharing a testimony or two, a little product overview. Okay. Um, something else that is really effective is to do Facebook events. So if you don't want to do a live event, well, I recommend you do both, but you can also do a Facebook event where you plan the event and it's kind of live. We have a whole template for how to do that in our files section on the, in the pink page. So you can just look at that model and that's not hard to do. I do recommend, I think it's a good idea to do it with a partner because when two people are working together on those Facebook events, they just kind of go they just go really nicely. So find your sponsor and maybe your sponsor can help connect you to a partner if, um, if you know, if that works. Um, let's see. So I'm going to end with just um, some, a couple challenge, like some things that I think I want to challenge you with. Um, to be successful in this business, you do have to put time into it. Nobody gets successful because it, they got lucky. That's just that's just the way it goes. You guys know anything that's worth anything takes time and it takes commitment. So if you want to put in the time and the commitment, um, I want to challenge you to a minimum of 30 minutes a day of focusing on your Plexus business. So think about your, your day and you want to try to schedule in Plexus business hours. Okay. And so that looks different for everybody. For me, I put my kids to bed at nine and then I work for me from the very beginning. I work nine to 12. So I wanted to do way more than 30 minutes because I wanted to, my goal became very quickly to kind of go as far as I could go with this thing, okay? But 30 minutes of intentionality with your Plexus business, you will be successful. And so maybe for you, that might look like getting up early. That might be cutting out a TV show. So it looks different for everybody, but be intentional about scheduling your business hours. Um, one thing you remember is you can work this part time, but you can't work it sometimes. So you have to consistently do that. Uh, let's see. The second challenge I have for you is to really stay engaged on the team pages. That's going to be very important for your support. Um, and then also to try if there's an event in your area, go to an event, go to a live event, connect with people. Because when you hear the testimonies from others, it builds your belief. You get excited and you really understand what this, what the Plexus products and the opportunity do for people. So stay engaged on team pages and events. Um, and then of course you want to be very consistent with your own products because you are a product of the product and you want to um, be able to have the experience of the products. And so take your products consistently so you have that experience and you have that testimony. Um, and then the fourth one is you, if you're here, I know that means that you're committed. I know that means that you want this. I would challenge you to really draw your line in the sand. I heard that back when I started. It was a visual for me. I said, okay, when I draw my line in the sand, that means I step over the line and I say, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for this no matter what happens. And so the distractions around me, um, they're not going to derail me once I've stepped over the line. So I challenge you to find that line and step over it. And, um, and, and by doing that, it keeps you away from negativity because there are going to be naysayers in your life that like, what do you mean? You know, you're doing this, you're doing that. What are you doing? That's going to happen. Um, not everybody's going to be as excited as we are and that's okay. But if we've drawn our line in the sand and we're committed, then we just keep moving forward and we surround ourselves with the positive people that are going to be supportive and are going to understand the vision with us. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. And the last thing that I'm going to say is don't give up because if you don't, if you just don't give up, you'll be successful. I think I'm living proof of that. You just don't give up. All right, you guys, you can do this and I'm here for you. And I know your sponsors are here for you. Um, and we're just really excited to have you.
So I'm going to stop recording now.